And as you can see behind me, it's absolute carnage down here. This is what happens when you don't secure things properly. <laughs> just left uh, gear as you can see back there and we're off to Oban now but we've got uh, no wind at all it's uh, deadly smooth as you can see we just got to make our way up here should take us um, hopefully about six to eight hours depending on the speeds we can do in the tide should have the tide with us for most of it but might be a long old day long old days motoring So yesterday we made it to Oban. We were supposed to anchor, well, pick up a mooring on the other side, which is actually Oban. And um, there's some yellow mooring boys which have got a V on, but it looks like, well, they are all full. So we came into the Oban room on the opposite side. It is 20 pounds a night for a mooring boy, unless you like us and we're over 20 ton, which means that it is 30 pound a night. So we did get here quite late last night. We're trying to shelter from a storm, which if I get my foot on, think it's passing so we're using apparently XC weather is a good app for using for forecasting the weather so as you can see can you see that maybe yeah so there's some strong winds it's passing now it's been getting to 40 knots but it is hammering it down outside Matt's taken Lance for a walk with his mum and dad and I'm at work so I'm gonna show you what it's like out there but today we should be going across on the ferry to go to get some lunch I think so that'd be nice but uh, yes it's hammering it down I've got the fire on as you can see behind me it keeps blowing smoke down the chimney but I'll show you the nice weather of uh, Scotland today it is a wee bit rainy and Matt is somewhere hiking over there I think so I will happily stay in here the drowned rat's back <laughs> Look at it was this. made a lot harder <laughs> alright Yep, I am watching you and Owl, Lancer. Lance a bit soggy, so I'm gonna have to put his cape on. Yeah. Matthew's sizzling his pants on the <laughs> stove. Fry me pants here. <laughs> Welcome to living with the tide. Quick dry. Lancer, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Should you be drying yourself on my nice new sofa? Ugh. Matthew's butt naked. He's just debating whether to stand on deck because the showers aren't included with the thirty pound a night. Yeah, thirty pound a night, and we still and that's on a mooring, boy. That's nearly the price of a pontoon, and it's um, you gotta pay for the showers. We're not happy with this place. Not be coming back here, I don't think. But Tobermory, that's where we're gonna go. That's twenty pound a night, and showers are not included, so that's our plan. That's where we're gonna get nice and clean. And Matthew but is might, standing naked at the minute. I might have to go outside <laughs> and uh, and give myself a good scrub. 
we've just left Oban. Uh, we only did a quick stop over, so we're going up to Tobermory in the end, but today we're going to... Lock Drumbuie or something <laughs> along that line. We went there last time. We're going to okay. call it Lock Drumbuie because... I don't think that is it. Yeah, it probably isn't. But we've got all the canvas up and we're actually sailing. So I'm going to show you some nice sailing and uh, yeah, we'll show you what happens when we get there. just anchored um it's been a pretty awesome day most of it we had some great sailing we saw a seagull and then we rounded part of what which, which is it the dog leg of mull what did we round the dog leg is that where it got bad yeah yeah we rounded the dog leg at mull seagull. and then it pretty much got to a force eight and we couldn't take our sails in Roger. and we haven't been out in anything like that i mean mona handled this off really really well and it was quite I don't know, I'll Who's shit myself to be honest. Matt was fine, but we had to release the sails Wait. and it was a bit of a bumpy ride for a bit as it kept gusting down the mountains. And as you can see behind me, it's absolute carnage down here. This is what happens when you don't secure things properly. <laughs> and Matthew hasn't built our bookshelf holder yet, so it's a bit of a mess. So Matt's going to walk ashore, take Lance for a wee, and then we're going to eat and see what happens for the rest of the night. Matthew's just putting his boots he's on because we're going to take little Lance who's behind him for a walk up the mountain and show you a little bit around the anchorage but it is quite wainy, wainy? Wainy? Wainy, it's wainy. quite rainy so I'll have to try and hide the camera so we don't get bludgers everywhere Bludgers? Captain Matthew You're going to go into Brokeback Mountain It's a bush art, not a cowboy art
We've uh, just got back from our very soggy walk. Well, I say just, Matthew's had an hour nap and now he's making us pizza because Sue and Jed are coming round. They're with us in the same anchorage as us. Uh, Lance is in his towel watching him make pizza. But Matthew is over here, the naked chef, but not naked. I'm well, not naked today. What pizzas we having? Um, pepperoni, most likely. Oops, But sorry. I've made the dough. Shows your dough. There's me dough. I don't think it's focusing because the light's bouncing off it, but made the dough. I just gotta wait for it to rise now for an hour. Well, we made two. Gotta we'll wait for it to rise now for an hour. And then it's and then... pizza, pizza, pizza. Yes, pizza, pizza, pizza. So I'm making our first ever video at and the And now minute. I'm gonna wash up because. Oh, I've now Matthew's washing up. I've made a mess. We're just leaving our nice little anchorage. The weather's really nice today. Matthew's at the helm back there. Lancer is up on deck. And it's really beautiful, I think. So we're gonna head out here. Just in the opening is a rock, so you have to avoid that, but it's not too hard to avoid because it's quite a big opening. But this, just outside of this bit, is where we had all the bad weather. It looks like it's actually pretty flat and calm today because there's no wind, but should take us an hour now. We're going over to Tobermory. We left Loch Granbuie and headed towards Tobermory. It took us about an hour. So Matthew's decided he's going to be a, a fisherman. He's going to catch us some, what are you trying to catch? I'm going to see if I can catch a flatfish. So he's got himself a little rod and that? Yeah, i got an extendable one because then it stores away easier on board. I feel like this is a flashback to your limpet experience in our... No, no, I'm not doing that again. Old videos. I'm going to try and catch flatfish because i got some worms. Let's see what I can do there. I don't think this place is any good. There's going to be some mackerel around, but I don't like mackerel anyway, so I don't really want to catch any of them. So I'm going to try a flatfish. See what I can get. I think oh, Math me, Matthew's, oh Lance, don't do that. Matthew's got a little flounder. He's a bit small for uh, <laughs> something though. So I better uh, take him off and throw him back. Lance is coming that, to... That, no Lance, you're not eating the fish. Matthew's very happy with his little <laughs> he's flounder. He's a bit little though. Are you yeah. going to throw him back? Yeah, I'm going to put him back because he's not edible. I mean, I guess we could keep him Lance growing. Lance is looking at you. Lance, it could be your food, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's a bit small, so oh. we'll send him back. I'll just show my dad, who's also fishing, but not doing very well. Matthew's onto his second fish, but it looks like he's catching for babies, because yeah. what you got this time, a little pollock. Yeah, a little pollock. But and it looks like I'm <laughs> catching them by accident, because this one's gone through its face instead. Instead of bite. Well, I mean, it shouldn't even bite a hook. I've got the hooks as big as it. I'm having a bit of trouble getting the old uh, barbed hook out. This one's a bit slimy. Fish number three for Matthew. Yeah, uh, mackerel. Yeah, it looks like a decent one. Yeah, he's a bit small. Not worth the trouble. Are you going to chuck him back in? Yeah, when he stops having a paddy, then I can grip him. Matthew, you'd be having a paddy if you had a massive hook for your cheek. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I would. Yeah, let me see if I can. Come in. Oh, well, he <laughs> broke himself free. That's all right then. Oh, come here. There we go. Yeah, it's not a bad, not a bad one. He'd make good live bait, but we're not doing any trawling, so no point keeping him. Off you go. Off he goes. And, uh, oops. Let's see how he got off. <sighs> Sorry, you've got Math uh, not Matthew's Lancer's bum in the face. Oh, what Matthew's caught something else. Oh. A mackerel. No. Oh, no. I don't know what it is. Pollock, that isn't it? It's tail. Oh, yeah. Why can't they eat it like normal? It's a pollock. It is, yeah. Pollock are meant to be really strong, so that's why it seems so big. Oh, no, it's not pollock. Oh, no. What on earth is this? Poor thing. No, Lance. Uh... I don't know what that is. Join us next time as we revisit where we brought Nova before we sail to one of the most beautiful anchorages in Scotland.